<laughs> Jade Thornton, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. And Jade Thornton and all of her tan. No, I don't think you can call it a tan. Update! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the eagle-eyed people, you can see that I, yet again, yet have a- got a ridiculous sunburn. You're listening to Insanity Radio, <laughs> 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow and Jade Thornton is back in the house. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. I've been away for two weeks. Two I've been weeks. here. I know. Even, even I wasn't here last week. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Who did you I, show? I, 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 I can't remember. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's all very mysterious. Whoops. It's all very mysterious. Today is Sunday the 17th of June, which means this is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Happy Dad. Daddy's Day to all the daddies out there, including my own. Have yeah, a very yeah. merry Father's Day and a happy new year and all that jazz. Happy Father's Day to the mums that are single mums as well. Yes, happy mothers. The- happy same Singers, role. Happy Mother's Father's yeah. Day. Yes, the same way mothers, fathers, does fathers celebrate Mother's Day too? Yeah, single this, parents, single fathers, yeah. Yeah, happy, I mean, that's, that's what we need is a happy single parent day. Yes. Yes, unity, yes. unity in yes. its finest. I, I like agree. this. Awesome. I agree. I, I have got some awesome facts lined up about Father's Day for the rest of this show. And I'm, I'm going to, oh my gosh. I'm ready. <gasps> oh my gosh, you know, the most exciting part of today, it's, it's most people, what? most people, most people would think this is exciting, but, but most of my regular listeners who, who aren't familiar with you will be rolling their eyes soon because today we're going to be here for the next two hours. Yeah. Two hours. Boy. You know me, I like to talk. Oh my gosh. I keep getting told off because recently I've been, when I've been doing two hour shows, I've stopped doing the two hours. And stop what? I stopped doing the whole two hours. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. I know there are so many things that I didn't know were things. When I first started doing two hour shows during the summer break last year, I said, I'm going to be here for the next two hours. Two hours. And apparently that became a thing. And then when I stopped to do Doing it, everybody was like, "You need to keep doing it." I miss it. That's always the case, though. You're I like, know. I never realised that that was a thing. I didn't realise Geronimo was so, my yeah, intro. Yeah, you you missed and it out on a playlist once, and I came in and I was like, <laughs> "You've thrown the universe out of whack." I know that was. <laughs> it's like we have we have a, a tradition um, that we have pizza on every Tuesday, and um, as it started when I used to go brownies, because um, it was just quick. Mum would come in from work, and it would be quick. So we'd have pizza, off I'd go, off I'd trot to brownies. And then we all grew up, no more brownies, love brownies. But um, uh, yeah, we, it just carried on. It just carried on. So now if we don't have pizza, like my whole week just goes out of whack. Whoa. See, that's something I've never been any good at is routines, traditions. Oh, no, no, I'm not I, good at routines. I, I, <laughs> Oh, oh, so, I mean, I mean I've, I've been getting told off because I stopped doing Let's Get Ready to Rumble at the end of my show. You have, so. you have to finish that and, song. And so, so I started playing Let's the song without ready. doing my own little vocal outro. And then people were saying, you need to be doing that too. You have to be going, oh, ladies it's and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all radio. ages. Oh, let's get ready to rumble. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely let's if that was the end of the show and we could just go home now? <laughs> <laughs> and that's all, folks. Nine minutes and three seconds in. Oh, good. So it's going to be one of them shows. Yeah, boy. Oh, my gosh. Now, you um, asked me if we have any Pink Floyd on this system for yeah, a, a reason that's unknown to me. Oh, it's just because my dad liked Pink Floyd. It's because your dad yeah. likes Pink has, has your dad Is your dad listening in right now? Is, I hope so. Has this been re- <laughs> has no, this I been... don't know if he's busy in the garden, but if he is, oh. he'll watch it later. But if he is, happy Father's Day. Yeah, get some batteries in that portable radio yeah. and bring them outside with you. He's busy shredding stuff in the garden. Uh, but they said they'd try and listen in, but yeah. Awesome. If Pink not, Floyd. it will be going onto YouTube later. Mm-hmm. It will be going onto YouTube, just like all of my shows, youtube.com forward slash Yazza Fox. Can't wait for the, the uh, I don't know, the my memes basically that's what oh I was yes say. i know the thumbnails i've been trying to be i've been i, I tried to be nice last time though i did a I had... writer's round and I, I dan caught some more i'll show you oh awesome that sounds fantastic yeah you know i don't <laughs> You'd have to, I mean, we're going to have to make a whole a video based on thumbnails and screenshots and moments that we've caught of you on. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's 
That, oh my gosh, I don't I think I okay. can see that. No, you're on the wrong camera at the moment. Let's flick this over to the right <laughs> camera. Let's do this. That's there the we one. Go. There we go. This is another one of Jade's famous. Th- Just in case you're not watching Insanity Radio right now, go to insanityradio.com forward slash listen and hit that big shiny Sorry, watch well, live just... button and, and we will What's be there. What's going on? <laughs> People have no idea what's going on. This is what we call yeah. top quality content, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. You can see my Spitfire shaped sunburn mark as well. Oh my gosh, yes. Jade's got this most lovely Spitfire necklace. And, yeah. and, she, and oh how, where did you get this tan from? Where did you get this? Is it, oh, is it a tan yet yeah. or is it still considered a burn? Oh it's, oh, it's fresh. It's a burn. It's yesterday. Put sun cream on, kids. <laughs> don't don't be stupid like me. Put sun cream on. Yes. But um, yeah, we went to West End Live yesterday, which is like a great event in Trafalgar Square. It's a hundred percent free. It's free. How? We saw Wicked. We saw. Oh, Dad just said he's listening. Hello, Dad. Um, Hello, Dad. It's free. <laughs> we got. We saw Wicked. We saw Chicago. We saw. Uh, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia, here we go again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh we saw Thriller. Oh, yes. oh my gosh. Oh, so many shows. I want. We didn't see Hamilton. Though. I nearly cried when they were there. But yeah, we saw so many shows. And you know when the clouds like in and out, the sun's like in and out of the clouds. You're like, oh yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't always need direct sunlight to be getting a roasting, does it? It I really doesn't. Listen to my mum. Oh, yeah. Mothers are right a lot more often than we give them credit for, aren't they? I always say that to my mum. I always say I can't wait to be a mum, so I'm always right all the time. (laughs) (laughs) I thought most of the time it's the teenagers that are always right until they're old enough to realise they were usually wrong. I cannot disagree with that. (laughs) I cannot. Anyway, uh, comfortably Mm. numb. Mm-hmm. Let's keep, let's do this. Yeah, boy. Hello. Is there anybody in? And now he is live. <laughs> <laughs> totally not throwing her phone around yeah. there. A pretty young thing by Michael Jackson. Before that, we had Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. And I forgot how long that song is. It's like six and a half there minutes. Is. Six and a half minutes. And that's, oh, it's a very, very, very mellow song. It's a good song. Like, it's, Stairway to Heaven's like seven minutes. Seven minutes? Is, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't Happily surprise me. Happily, we sit and listen to that. <laughs> Over the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow and I'm joined in the studio by the legendary Jade Thornton. Hello, hello, hello. Who last week was performing live at the Song Academy in Westfields in yeah, yeah. Shepherd's Bush. Yeah, yeah. Even with, even, even with engineering works on the rails, uh, just making it very difficult to get from one end to the other. And, and, and as Darth Vader has come to join us in the studio. <laughs> I got stranded in a station. It's bloody trains. Oh, oh. <laughs> How did you get stranded on the way back? But not on the way there. I can almost guarantee No, because on the way there, I made my own way from my station near my house. Uh-huh. And then on the way there, I made it back to a different station with my friends. So I was not traveling alone. Awesome. And... Um, uh, I was planning to just do a quick change and get two stops to my station and then I went to go on the other side of the tracks to go back to my house and they were like, lol joke, we're only going to Waterloo and I was like, <coughs> sorry what? <laughs> Pardon? Sorry, rewind? Excuse me! Uh, so I was not pleased, I... I was not pleased and I couldn't, I couldn't even drive home because of my curfew. Oh, 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 the curfew, <laughs> the curfew. There's so many people that don't know about your curfew. Yeah, I know, it's so oh, annoying. Oh, my gosh. It you've, is the worst. You've managed to save quite a fortune on your insurance, haven't you? I like you, to think it? of it as me um, Cinderella, and uh, I have my pumpkin, and it turns... No, I have my carriage, and it turns into a pumpkin, and is not insured from 11 till 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so I have an uninsured pumpkin, is that's what I'm trying to say? An uninsured pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird that's, sentence. That's, that's, <laughs> I've just got to think of it oh like that, gosh. you know? You know, you just got to look at the positives. Yeah, yeah. And, and one day... Um, always look I... on the bright side. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, also, apart from the um, Song Academy, I don't actually know if I'm allowed to say this, but they do it every year. I'm going to be part of their album. You're going to be part They're of They're releasing the album. an album, yeah. That is awesome. And yeah. I'm going to be on the split by it. And I was oh listening to gosh. some of the other finalist songs. They are bops and a half. Bops and a translation from English Bop to English, like please. Bop is like tune. <laughs> <laughs> bop is my word for like, if a song gets me grooving, it's a bop. <laughs> like P-U-I-T is a bop. A bit like, that. okay, cool. It's another one of those Gucci things. And, uh, Gucci! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when you get an 18-year-old in a studio with a 34-year-old... I am not the only some... person that goes through phases of words. Major... I cannot be the only person. <laughs> I'm... Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's not common amongst most 34-year-olds, at least this one. I this mean, is but... your chance to change the world, Terry. But Start the... using the word Gucci. <laughs> but... <laughs> But then you're talking about somebody who spends most of his life under a rock and in a cave anyway. Is it comfortable? It's, it's, it's very comfortable. It's got I like it. <laughs> it's pretty Gucci. Big's living in London, you know, prices. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, it's very rare in this day and age I end up asking if there's any English to English translators out there <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yes today is Father's Day and I said I had some interesting facts that I was going to be sharing yeah. and I'm going to start things off with, with uh, do you know where Father's Day originated from? No, but I would love you to enlighten me on it's, that. Oh, really? That's, yeah. That was, that was convincing. Yeah. This, it's, just in case you can't kick off the proper singing career you want, you've got a brilliant acting career at least. <laughs> <laughs> I did do acting at, at A-level, so thank you very much. Well, there you go. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> but Father's Day it was suggested and invented by a woman named Sonora Smart It was Dodd. invented by a woman? It was a Yes. Wow. I know, who wanted to honour her father, Aww. who was a veteran, and he raised six children as a single parent. Aww. The first ever Father's Day was celebrated on the 19th of June, 1910. Wow. wow. That's a lot of years ago. 108 years ago. 108 years ago. That's Damn, a lot of years. That's a lot of Father's Days. That's it, yeah. And apparently when Father's Day was first suggested, a lot of people were laughing about it. And one local newspaper was complaining about the whole thing, saying it would lead to mindless promotions such as National Clean Your Desk Day. Or Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I... <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, and according to Hallmark, um, this uh, yes. Father, Father's Day is the fifth largest card-sending holiday. First is, is Valentine's I, Day? I have no idea. I didn't uh, dig that far into it, but I, I want to say no. Christmas. Uh, I kind of yeah. want to say Christmas. I do. Christmas, Valentine's Christmas, I know. I was about to say Halloween, but nobody sends Halloween cards. I, it's, uh, yeah, I think Halloween is still trying to find its way over here from America. It's sort of, as far as I'm concerned, it can stay there. It's, uh, <laughs> it goes through phases, doesn't it? It sort of comes back for a while, then it disappears again, then it comes back. It's, it's my sister and, and my mum went over to Canada for, for Halloween, and it's like, it's such a big thing over there. Obviously, because it is there, they did... It, it's, it's, it was their yeah, creation. Yeah, it is their yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like prom. Over there, it's like, basically, you might as well have a wedding. It, that much preparation goes into it. Whoa. You, you know, you know, you I, must have seen the pictures. I've like, But Halloween, like my mom, they took pictures and their houses are decked from top to the end of their garden in just... Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, I have seen it, especially in movies and things. Like once yes. upon a time, I thought that was quite exaggerated. Then I started talking no, to people from no. America, and I was like, "No, that's the norm." That is the norm. And I was just like, "Wow, that's a lot of pumpkins you go through." That is. That is probably the most satisfying part of Halloween, though, is carving the pumpkins. Uh, for some I people, like apparently, smashing the pumpkins afterwards. I did Mike Wazowski in my pumpkin last year. Mike the Hoozy. Uh, oh my! Terror Monsters Inc. <laughs> Always oh. watching Wazowski. Oh, yes. <laughs> Always watching. Now I remember. Yes. My gosh, I haven't seen it in so long. I bought it on DVD the other day just to fulfil my uh, inner child. 
Oh, DVD. You know what else I want to go? Talk yeah, because we have it on VHS. Nostalgia. We I have see, it on VHS, but too. our VHS player doesn't work anymore. Oh my God, I've got three backup. I've got three spares. I, I might be able to... Hit me up. <laughs> 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 no, I really want to go see Incredibles 2. That's what I really want to go and see. see that's a perfect topic for Father's Day, actually, because my dad keeps just about every VHS player and recorder he ever finds Mine because too. he keeps saying, you just can't get hold of them anymore. Yeah. You can't buy them. They, just, they pretty much don't exist they anymore had, for They purchase. had this thing that apparently if you have some of the Disney ones, like the original, like Lion King, Snow White, they're, apparently they can be worth quite a bit. Mm. I don't know if that's just speculation because you know people are like all oh, fivers are going to be worth like three hundred pound. Yeah. A lot of the a lot of the original, the very very yeah, very yeah, first yeah, 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 ever yeah, yeah. releases do have some value to them. Anything the, the, with value, I'm like yeah, <laughs> sell it. The, the second edition, everything after that is pretty much completely obsolete. Yeah. For the, for the pure reason that Disney re-released it on DVD and digital downloads and all that kind of stuff so the original videos just kind of lost all the value from that don't get me wrong I love the convenience of a DVD and like online streaming but you just can't beat a VHS it's, it's, you just mm. can't but they are quite space consuming they are very space consuming they are very yes. space consuming but there's, there's something very nostalgic about yeah, them too there's something, there's something simple about them because I remember like rewinding them so oh, you can like watch yes. like, like <laughs> Oh yeah, I you remember. Get to just sit there and be like, rewind. I remember renting the videos from Blockbusters. Oh! On the side of it, it said, "Be oh! kind, please rewind." Oh! And I was just like, "Yes." A lot of people are probably thinking like, oh. she's way too young to remember Blockbuster, but I hundred percent oh. do. Yeah, I know. A hundred percent. I remember one time we went bowling. This is a really random story, but one time <laughs> we went bowling, and it was my go. And you know, on your last go, you get like two goes, I think. You get two, if you get a strike, you get another go, I think, or something. And I got a strike and they didn't let me have my last go. I was really upset. And my mum and dad were like, let's go to Blockbuster. <laughs> so then we went to Blockbuster. And I think we, for some reason, we ended up going like five days in a row. I can't remember why. Oh, wow. That's... But we just like go and rent movies and this and that. It's like, I was going to the library. <laughs> Got me all nostalgic now, Tessa. Oh, I know, I know the feeling. I'm going to start talking about Woolworths and sweeties, no! and I know at our price and Zavi <laughs> and oh, oh. don't, <laughs> don't. Oh wow, I know. I think oh. we need a bit of music on. Yeah, I think I, we do. Yes, let's get a bit nostalgic with the music as well, oh, shall we? Yeah. Let's get. Oh. <laughs> Save the World by <laughs> Swedish House Mafia. Before that, we had All You Need Is Love by The Beatles, because we all love The Beatles. Yeah, yeah. You're listening to... In yeah, yeah. We're listening to Insanity Radio, 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow, and I'm joined in the studio by the most creative musical genius <laughs> ever to exist since... I'll pay you later, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> the legendary Jade Thornton. It's a me. And it, it's it's a me, a Jade. <laughs> and today... <laughs> And today is Sunday the 17th, which means it's Father's Day. And there's yeah. a lot of people celebrating out there right now because they are fathers. And no better time to celebrate than Father's Day. <laughs> and, I, and I have some interesting facts that I'm going to continue sharing unless there's a... In, yes. I, so there's, see, see, a lot of people assume that slippers are the most common gift bought for fathers on Father's Day. But slippers ain't. Chocolate? No. Oh, Go on, one more guess. One oh, more guess. Um, you know you wanna. You know you wanna. I'd say chalk. Uh, PJs. Huh? No, I don't know. Say that again. PJs. PJs. What did you think <laughs> I said? <laughs> that's, that's not coming I'm there. so intrigued um, as to what you thought a, I said. A, it's it's a tie. It, it's, a tie. A tie is the most common purchased gift for pet a fathers. Tie? Like, yeah, a tie. A tie. It, 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 slippers is second, but a tie is the most common thing bought for a father on Father's Day. A, a tie a tie why <laughs> i i uh, apparently people wear some sometimes yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, but that's so uh, uh, like you know they always say look after your feet and always buy a good bed and always buy a good pair of shoes because if you're not in one you'll most likely be in the other you know? Th that's valid that is true so that's a good pair of true. slippers solid but a tie <laughs> 
apparently it's quite a fail-safe one. Uh, wow, uh, uh, you I learn know, something right? new every single day. You do, and you're so surprised by this. I'm concerned that this next fact might not be as surprising <laughs> and it's impressive. It's a good thing now. I've been sat down. I'm sat I, down. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, it's not as impressive. Oh, I hit me. I don't go, know go. now. I, I thought this tie was a little thing, but you were like, whoa! <laughs> Cosmic man. <laughs> the world record for having the most number of children officially recorded is 69 by the first wife of Fyodor Vasilyev. One person. Uh, his first wife gave birth to 16 pairs of twins. I thought you meant from one woman. I was like, how is... His no. first wife gave okay, birth to yeah. 16 pairs of twins. 16 Se pairs of twins? His first wife gave birth to 16 pairs of twins. <laughs> Seven sets of triplets and four sets of quadruplets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that can't be true. That's it's. I, 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 I was thinking exactly Did the same off thing. Did you get Wikipedia? I, 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 no, it comes from the most reliable source on the planet. It comes from, come from Google. Oh, Google. Okay. Google. <laughs> <laughs> but there are several sites that are sort of this is world records kind of websites. Sixteen pairs of twins. Seven sets of triplets and four sets of quadruplets. This has been officially recorded as this factual. This sounds so grim. But how did like how did her stomach take that? How I, did her womb take that it's a lot of arnica gel <laughs> <laughs> i was so worried that what was going to come out of your next stuff you said it's a lot of <laughs> that could have been anything oh my God. When, when was this record made um well uh, fyodor vasiliev uh, was from 1707 to 1782 was his lifespan so in the 1700s he was in moscow moscow Moscow, Moscow. They've not got anything better to do. Uh, that's the question. <laughs> they didn't have Google in the 1700s. They, they didn't, didn't have, have Wikipedia. Netflix. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have Netflix. We didn't even have VHS Damn. in the 1700s. I'm not even entirely sure that cassettes were a thing back then. It's the 1700s. I, think that's I cannot a, get my head around that. We're talking that. no television. I mean, it's definitely, I don't even think radio existed in the 1700s. The books were probably what still did very exist in the seventies. Food. Well, uh, children apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what didn't exist. Well, let's just say that. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Oh my gosh! I can't I wrap my head around that. See, this interesting one. During the nineteen twenties and the nineteen thirties, it was suggested by a number of people that Mother's Day and Father's Day should be combined to form a single Parents' Day. Uh, what a, pa a day just, for single parents just, just, or just a parents' day? Or a parents Mother's day. just okay. a parents' day. Mother's day and no. Father's day to be combined. I think they do such day. a great job that you should focus it into one day each. I like the sound of that. Imagine trying to pamper a mum and, and a dad got, on the same yeah. day. It's like, ugh. and then I, I've had a few. We've had a few crossovers of birthdays, and like I think my mum. It was Mother's Day and my sister's birthday on, on the same day, and it did not go. Oh, that never goes well. I can imagine. <laughs> no, it's, I feel sorry for people that are like, like Suma's birthday is really close to Christmas. And I'm like, do I get yeah, her two separate I presents? Know. Do I get her just one big present? And I'm just like, Ehh. I know it's amazing how many children out there. I mean, I, I, it's not a situation. See, I'm a summer I baby. It's, I'm a summer baby. I I'm was, a summer baby. I'm in August. Me too. Uh, me three. When? No way. Third. 25th. 25th. Yeah. Oh, he's, uh... Fun fact, if I was born on my due date, I would have been in the year below. Yeah, I was That's due. A... I was due in September. No, it took me so long to process that. For yeah, a minute, I would it? have been. I would have been the oldest in the year below. Wow! I... But now I'm the youngest in the year above. I was... I'm like right on the cusp. Wow! I ended up I, because of my. I, I'm not quite sure how I managed it, but I ended up leaving school at the age of 15. Everybody mm. else was 16 before they left school, mm. and I didn't turn 15. I didn't turn 16 till after I left school, and mm. it's weird. It was a bit... mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I'm 18, and now everyone's turning 19. Yeah. And then when I turn 19, everyone's like, 20, and then so on. But you know, uh, yeah. so the bright side, they might start losing their teeth a year before you do. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> well, I, I, c I can compete with that with hair because you know I have enough to last. Touchwood, I have enough to last me forever. <laughs> <That's a> <laughs> forever. <laughs> that 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 head shake is going to make a gif and a half. That, it's, is. that could make yes. That could, that could make <laughs> I'm a, just I'm just consciously now giving you material to make <laughs> memes. <laughs> You're welcome. Memes, animated gifs, thumbnails yeah. for YouTube videos. We're going to get it all. Oh, yeah. We need to start producing stickers and diaries and Jade Thornton merchandise. 
I'm actually thinking about that, but I don't know if people will buy it. That's I'd... the thing. I kind of need a new logo. That's the thing. Uh, I, I like your logo. Yeah. Uh, I like the... I do have pin badges. I know. That, uh, one, I have one on my guitar strap, and I made them for a college project, and I want to sell them online. Hmm. Uh, the thing is, I charge a pound for them. And then I'd have to pay for postage. Mm. So would I buy... Uh... Actually, there is a site. It's, 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 it's kind of a premium price kind of site. It's one I've dabbled about with in the past and plan on stamps using. Stamps are really expensive. It, I, 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 stamps are getting really expensive, I know. There's a site on the online that I use, and there's other sites similar to it. It's definitely not the only one. But the one I've looked at before is called Redbubble. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, what yeah. is it? It's 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 pretty much it. you can upload your designs, your, your logos, your graphics, yes. your you know whatever photos yes. are your favorite things, and you can tell them what products you want, what merchandise you want it to be available on t-shirts, pillowcases, uh, notepads, pillow stickers, cases. badges. Pillowcase with my face on. Oh no, <laughs> that's the worst. Oh, I've got the shivers. <laughs> No, and um, if somebody they they will advertise and promote this thing. If somebody purchases oh. it, um, you, you pretty much get a sort of a designer uh, cut from it. But yeah. you, you can you can sort of set prices within a certain range. And if somebody oh. purchases it, they they do all the printing, they do all the shipping, they do all the after sales stuff. You, the profits you get from it are very very minimal because oh. literally the only thing you're doing is uploading an image and they're oh, doing everything I feel like this is a great else. time to plug Exit Live. Go for it. Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, I posted a link on my Facebook page. I did a writer's round um, at the 2nd or 3rd of June, and I posted it uh, up on Exit Live. And Exit Live is a great platform for musicians because um, uh, when I had an EP out, I posted my songs to certain online streaming companies, and I got less than a penny. Less than a penny whoa for 12 months of streaming i got well not even uh, i got 0. 0.7 p there we go uh, 0. 0. 0.7 p there's a lot of old people out there right now I going, know. back in my day that was a <laughs> lot of money <laughs> i know it was but inflation okay but um yeah i got um from these certain online streaming websites but exit live ha is they give me, I think I get 80% of the profits. 80%? Obviously, they have to take some profit to keep them running, which is yeah. 100% fair enough. They're of a business. Course. Yeah. But yeah, please, if you want to buy my music, it would be great if you could go on there because I get a profit, which is great. <laughs> because if you want to buy my music, it's like when people busk, they like what they hear. When I busk, they like what they hear, they pay me. If you like what you hear, please buy my track. And I have a new song on there. I have oh, a awesome. an exclusive song. So where can we find where can we find it? Is this a website? Is this an app? Is it both? Uh, I think it's an app as well. It is on my Facebook page. I did post the link. It's called Exit Live. It's called Exit Live. Yeah. Dot com. But yeah, maybe. I don't <laughs> know. If I had the computer, I would check. But oh, yeah, it's yes. uh, it is on my Facebook page. Jade Thornton Music. It is me. But yeah, uh, I have only me. A new song called Reclaim. Um, cared. Breathe. And easy are all recorded and Smooth. recorded by the basement door. So it's a great, nice, clean sound. So, yeah, please. I think it's £4.40 for five songs. That works to like 80p a song. That's fair. So, yeah. And the website I've just found is exit.live. There is no www. There is oh. no .com or .co.uk or anything like that. It's literally just this is exit. the future. <laughs> .live. Black Mirror is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh wow speaking of the future somebody who was way ahead of their time is on our playlist right now yes. so what do you say we throw on a few yeah. more tunes exit.live find all of Jade Thornton's stuff there because I said so even though there's probably not even half of her stuff on there I'm going to say all of her stuff is yeah, on exit please, live please do. please do please do please do please do she has a curfew yes yeah, she does <laughs> Well, 
world was on fire No one could save me but you Strange what desire will make foolish people do And I never dreamed that I loved somebody like you Girl's only gonna break your heart with you What a wicked game to play To make me feel that way What a wicked thing Girl's only gonna break your heart with you. You, you, you. The world was on fire, and no one could save me but you. Strange what desire will make foolish people do. Girl's only gonna break your heart with you You, 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 you With you That was, that, 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 that pick drop was almost like a <laughs> mic drop right there That was the equivalent of a mic drop that was, Oh yeah, yeah Oh yeah, yeah Oh, totally awesome! I, again, I still have no Thank idea you. how to move on from from how. I, I mean, how do you? The rest of the show is just minimal compared to that performance. I'm just, I'm, I mean, exit live. Yeah. Yeah, exit dot live online and maybe the app. Can hear a new be... song, guys. New Come song. on. I really want to hear this new song. I really want to buy this new song and put it on. Oh my god, can I buy a new song and put it on the system? Yeah. That would be amazing. <laughs> I really want to hear it. Oh, yeah. Do it. Yeah, it's oh. a live performance. It's beautifully beautifully mastered by the basement door. So it's a good quality. Door. Good quality, uh, yes. awesome, smooth. And I think it just downloads straight to your phone, so you can do whatever you want with it. Awesome. Yeah. But th- 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 what can you do with a song on a phone? 
Listen to it. And or share it. That would be oh, great. Yes, that's the one sharing <laughs> is good. <laughs> oh, social media queen in the house. <laughs> You're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I'm White Shadow and Jade Thornton was going to continue a sentence, so please do continue. No, I love good. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Yeah, that's an official oh, statement right well, there. Yes, today is the 17th of June. It is Father's Day. And I've still got some more interesting facts here. Hit me! Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, true. Oh, my, oh, no, my so many loneliness children. is killing me and I. I'm a good, is that the right one? Yeah. I still believe, still believe. I should cover that one day. You I should. To, I think I you did should. one day and then I just forgot. I, 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 I've, I've just piling up so many requests on you over the past couple of months, haven't yeah. I? I've been like, fields of gold, Eva Cassidy. I, I've, I've been like... Uh, uh, I did actually try and it's, learn it. And it sounds like Sting's know, version. You only understand the last Walking word. Every... Fields of Bali. Yeah. I sang it in secondary school when we played in Paris. And, 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 then was... and then we were in like the middle of Paris and then like this couple came over and they were having their wedding and they were like, will you sing for us? And we were all like, yeah. Oh. And I think we sang uh, something is sad, so strong. And all that I can make it, but you're doing me wrong, so wrong. That one. Nice I sang song. it a bit off because I sang that upper harmony, but yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, that's, it, uh, oh, it's it was still really a good sweet. song. It's still a good song. And, and, and now I've started asking you the Nobodies by Marilyn Manson. Oh, I've just realised I didn't have lunch before I left. Yeah, sorry. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe one day, oh, one day, one day, one day, one day. Oh, my gosh. Now, every year there's usually around 13 million Mother's Day cards wow. sold. In comparison to around 7 million Father's Day Aww. cards sold. I know. That's sad. It's... it's <laughs> It's I know it's just almost half the number. That is true, That's actually. <laughs> wow. I know. And according to a survey, sons and daughters send 50% of the Father's Day cards that are purchased to their parents. Nearly 20% of Father's Day cards are purchased by wives for their husbands. <sighs> and that leaves around 30% which are sent to grandfathers, sons, brothers, uncles, or to someone oh. special. And then you've got all those like spoiled children around the the country going. What about Children's Day? Like every other day of the year. <laughs> you know, apparently oh, there is man. actually a dedicated Children's Day. There probably is. There is a website Somewhere. called nationaldays.co.uk, and if you go there, you can find. My favourites about... are the ones that include food. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I think, when was it? I think it was about two days, three days ago maybe, was National Cupcake Day and See? National kind of day. Blood Donor Day as well. And it's just a combination of giving blood and cupcakes. It's just like, ah. Oh, there just could be a reward that, system going on there. There could be, yeah. yes. You give me blood. Okay, this is like a vampire bacon. It's like a vampire. Imagine being a vampire chef. What? It's, oh, what a trade off that would be. What a trade off. How, about how Come many. donate a pint of blood and we'll give you a cupcake. I, I'd give them at least eight pints. I, I, <laughs> I really like the idea times. of it, but I'm really scared of needles. I know. I, I can't needles. stand needles either. I really can't. I really don't like needles. Oh my I'd gosh. Be the worst when it comes to needles. But speaking of children, back in 2008, 10 years ago, Thousands of school children in Scotland were banned from making Father's Day cards at school because the schools, Why? The schools were afraid of embarrassing classmates who live with single mothers. Oh, I know, right? Uh, 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 uh. I, I don't know. I, it's, uh, it's, do you you want to say, oh, that's so sweet and considerate of the but children with single gone, mothers. But they could the have other... just gone, if you don't live with your father, you can... Make one for your granddad or your uncle your mother, or your goldfish yeah. or your mother. You don't have or... to ban it. I know, right? It, uh, 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 that's an awkward one. I know, but if, if like thirty percent of people are sending cards to grandparents and sons and brothers and uncles and somebody else that's yeah. special, surely there's somebody else in the family you can create a Father's Day card for, or a card to celebrate the occasion. I don't know. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, just send a card. It's not. Oh, it's just a card. You know, <laughs> they can go, dear mummy. 
might be Father's Day, but you play the role of both. Like, just let a child have creative freedom. You don't have to ban it. I know. I know, but oh, that was ten years that ago. Is. That I'm, I'm assuming times have changed. <laughs> <laughs> Back in them there good old days when I was a wee bit more snapper. A bit more snapper. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Back in them near good old days when I was a wee whipper snapper. I was brought ten years ago. I was eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave that there. Talking about how I slowly made this mess Trying to tell me I was wrong Didn't know a part of me was gone Didn't know a part of me was gone Didn't know a part of me was gone Consumed every ounce of breath To what was mine and make it harder to confess I've seen time if you let me Finally breathe Two years go by I'm still under your thumb Starting to make me doubt who I've become Trying to convince me with your lies Think it's time to open my eyes Think it's time to open my eyes Think it's time
Jade Thornton, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. Yeah. I am White Shadow. Before that, we were listening to No Pressure by the Cooks and Delilah Cooks. by Tom. Cooks. The Cooks. The Cooks. What did I say? The Cooks? The, the Cooks. Cooks. The, the, it's, yeah. So, did they work in the kitchen? Is it? No. <laughs> They're the Cooks. How do we know they didn't? They might have done, I don't know. There might They're have been a the pressure cooks. cooker. The, the song might be about a pressure cooker cooks. that had no pressure. Cooks. They're the cooks. Quality content right here, ladies. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> for those oh. of you who have just tuned in, just heard cooks. <laughs> yes, for those of you who have just joined in, <laughs> yes, today <mom>. is the <laughs> 17th <laughs> of June. Today is Father's Day and... and, and Go and make your dad a cup of tea, Kate. <laughs> Unless no. he likes coffee. <laughs> yeah, or coffee. Yeah, just you just go and make your dad a cup of tea. It's a nice gesture. It, you know? Go and do it. Uh, Unless he likes a cold coffee. drink. Or, yeah, go and make him a drink. Lemonade with ice. Yeah. It's a hot day. Go and make him a drink. Is it a hot day? Yeah. I suppose it is a bit. <laughs> oh, I feel it's like I've been here for an eternity. It's been such a long time since I had two hour shows. Uh, uh, all I've had is uh, since a 24 hour radio marathon I, I've only ever done one, over, one hour shows mm. and I, after that 24 hour radio marathon an hour was over before it even began it was crazy and now I'm doing a two hour show and I feel like I've been here forever oh yeah oh yeah yeah your fact hit me with the, your fact as a fact I have, I have run out of facts but what oh. I but what I have I know right I've got some more on this I actually let you get through your page of what you were going to say That's I know first, it? It? two hours is enough for me to get through 15 <laughs> minutes of content this is fascinating <laughs> whenever we finish the show Terry's like oh uh, I had like a whole essay to say but I only got through like a quarter of it because you were talking and I was like mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I prepare one hour worth of content and I forget how much gets Jade about 25 seconds I, I, it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's absolutely amazing because it means I can I can slack sometimes if I if I haven't really got much to talk about I can just be like Jade is here Jade. and that's it I, it's a me Mario I don't know if you noticed but at the start of this term I, I renamed the show it's no longer the White Shadow Show. It is now White Shadow's double take. Really? Really? Oh, I didn't even notice. I'm just uh, quite an unobservant person. Is it, uh, <laughs> but what I have got here is one of the most famous Father's Day poems, who just Ooh. happens to be written by an unknown author. Ooh. I know, right? And I, I'm debating at the moment. I'm almost nearly tempted to just hand this over to you so that you can read it out because I feel I'm like... awful at reading off of paper. Yeah, I, it's, I'm me really too. bad. I'm I'm awful at reading off a paper. I'm awful at presenting. I'm awful at knowing. But, I mean, reading songs out loud that would have been a better right. That would have been a better phrasing. But oh, I'm it? awful at it. Is it uh... I'm so bad. I was an English literature student, and I'd get asked to read Hamlet. That's in old English. I can barely do new English. <laughs> That's in old English. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. Like it's just imagine every single word as a hurdle, and I literally fell over every single one of them. I don't know what it is. I'm just really bad at reading aloud. There's a lot of people, I know a lot of people that are like that. I used to be exactly the same a long, long time ago. I trip over my words. Unless, obviously, I'm an actor, so you rehearse it. If I know it, but if it's spontaneous, awful. I'm shocking. Yeah, I know. It's it's true. It's very understandable. You don't know where the end of the sentence is going to be. You don't know if the Mm. emphasis is going to be here or there in a sentence. I'm like, I need to get a pen out and follow it with my pen. (laughs) I know a lot of people who use the ruler to go down line by line as they're reading it. It makes it a lot easier for me, but it makes it harder for me because I'm usually covering up the next line, so I don't know where the (laughs) end of the sentence is, so I don't know how long before I should breathe. I don't like breathing. That's why I like so many commas, because it breaks up the sentence, Mm -hmm. and I must have like five or six commas in one sentence sometimes, Mm -hmm. and people don't like me for it. it... I often get told that I overuse punctuation, but... Oh, there's no such thing as too much punctuation. In A-level, there is. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my gosh. A poem called What Makes a Dad... No, oh, I know. It's so sentimental. God took the strength of a mountain, the majesty of a tree, the warmth of a summer sun, the calm of a quiet sea, the generous soul of nature, the comforting arm of night, the wisdom of the ages, the power of the eagle's flight, the joy of a morning in spring, the faith of a mustard seed, the patience of eternity, the depth of a family need. Then God combined these qualities when there was nothing more to add. He knew his masterpiece was complete and so he called it dad. Aww. That's so sweet. 
<laughs> it's yeah, it's definitely one of the nicest I've seen. Apparently, that it's, really flows. It's, it does, doesn't it? Apparently, it's been used a lot more than just about any other Father's Day poem. That's so cute. In I want to say in a universe, but I still feel like I haven't read enough poems from outside of this planet to really <laughs> kind of you know. I was expecting you'd read more from the outside of this planet, Terry. Yeah. <laughs> Considering the fact that I didn't come from Earth. Do, 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 do. More on that next week. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for more. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm. I, I, yeah. Really? And yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking. Oh my gosh! Should we throw on a few more tunes? I can see what's coming what's up next. And hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. Oh hell yeah! Firework by Katy Perry. Before that, we had Viva Forever by the Spice Girls. You're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. And every time I mention a song, Jade starts bursting <laughs> into lyrics. And I just... I, just, I Can I, you I, help it? I'm sorry. I just want to stop talking and listen to the voice. We have had a message into the studio earlier on from a good friend of mine and a neighbour who often likes to remain relatively anonymous. Okay, I was just about to say her name. Uh, I did it. Hello, oh. person. Hello, person. She said she's absolutely loving your performances. Thank you. And 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 she's got a song request in, which is now a line. Well, we got a an artist request. Of course, I got the pick of song. And last time we did this, she 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 chuckled so much because I chose sexual religion, and and she was just like, I, I just can't believe you picked that one. <laughs> so this time I've gone for something a little bit different, which I actually didn't know this cover existed until she introduced it to me sometime ago Ooh, so I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that I, I knew a completely different cover for the longest time but oh my gosh speaking of the longest time i can't believe what <laughs> i was about to burst into song then like, oh. mm, for the longest time isn't that a song i don't I, I, I know i don't know carry on <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I was going to say, but it's, it's, I can't believe there's only like technically about five minutes of talk time I left know. of this show. It started off, I was like, I, I was like, I don't know what songs to put on the playlist this week. And then I was like, oh, we could put that one on. And then Jade was like, we could put that one on and we could put that one on and we could put that one on. And by the time we finished, we had about 400,000 million hours worth of music to play. You're welcome. And, 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 hey, it's OK <laughs> to say you're welcome. <laughs> We are going to be here for two hours every <laughs> Sunday until Yay. the end of September. September the 23rd is going to be the last two-hour show before the new term starts here at Royal Holloway. And all the freshers will be coming in. All the second and third years will be returning. And the normal schedule, the normal program will be... Actually, there might be a whole new program because we might be getting some new presenters into Ooh. the studio because so many presenters Damn. finished and in, in, uh, like graduating. And going mm. into cool beep, starting on new adventures and new chapters and Good traveling luck. off. I've, I've got a friend on the way to Turkey right now. I've got somebody else on the way to Germany. I've got somebody Damn. rocking on back to Ireland. I've got somebody else rocking off to Scotland. I've got somebody headed off to America. I've got somebody who's got every plan on touring the world and just like just so Love many people going on. Oh my gosh. I struggled to. <laughs> so, you know, there's like one thing missing for me from that um, a plane? money. Uh, yes. <laughs> I think a lot the of little people, thing called money. I think a lot of people feel your pain on that one. Believe mm. me. And oh my gosh, I see. I, I've also been getting sold off because I haven't been doing my on this day segments for mm. so many times. The one uh, retro Stevie absolutely loves the whole mm, historical thing. And in 1837, on this day, Charles Goodyear obtained his first patent for rubber. As in the tyre as in, as in the tyre. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yes. Yeah, the first patent for rubber. And in 1950, mm -hmm. moving forwards only about 100 years, was the first successful kidney transplant in Chicago. Sweet home, Chicago. See, I can burst into a song too. <laughs> Not as good as you, but I mean, I can do it. And I see, in my head, I was like, sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> 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 oh my exes live in Texas. It's just gonna go for all the countries and states of the whole of America now. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh my god, nineteen sixty seven. Somebody to love by Jefferson Airplane peaked at number five. Mm. I, uh, I want to start off that song. Nineteen eighty eight. Microsoft released MS DOS version four. MS what what? MS DOS version four. See, before the existence of Microsoft Windows, mm -hmm. Microsoft had DOS, which was called a disk operating system. You know, when you look at old school movies and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. you've got the black screen with the little grey writing that just says C colon slash and just a little blinking cursor for you to type in the old DOS commands. That's, that's a oh, disk yeah, yeah, operating... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, a disk yeah, yeah. operating system. You know, you go to start menu and you hit run, you've got the command oh, prompt. I just hit the space bar, but like, do something. Yeah, yeah do stuff! <laughs> Whoa! That was, a long, that was around long, long before Windows ever existed. Mm -hmm. And number four was released 120 years ago on this day. 120, 120 Sorry? Years. I am 120 years old. Yes, it's true. 1988. I was going to say, like, I was like, no way the computer is that old. See, it's, yeah, this is why I don't talk much. This is why I don't <laughs> do Honest Day segments, because I can't count. 120. What was, wow, well done, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to quadruple its <laughs> lifespan. <laughs> Before computers existed, Microsoft <laughs> DOS version 4 was already out there. You heard it here first. <laughs> the fourth version was released first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> about, about 80 years before computers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, in 2008, 10 years ago, exactly exactly one decade ago, on mm -hmm. this day was the first day of legal same-sex marriage in California. Yeah. Yay! Cal I'm sure there's a California... It should be a thing everywhere. I'm yeah. trying to think of a California song and it's not happening. It's not. It's a California... California... Cation. <laughs> like a, a, a western stereotypical on helium <laughs> oh my gosh also uh 10 years ago on this day there was a number one song in the uk 10 years ago on this day was singing in the rain by mint royale mm. Arr, and 20 years ago on this day, the number one song in the UK was Three Lions by Abadio Skinner and The Lightning Three Seeds. The one, the one, that the one. <laughs> and they are both on the system. Yeah. And I am playing them both right now. But first, we've got the request from the listener who, who just contacted the studio via means of telepathy. <laughs> And we're going to play that right now. What do you reckon? Should we play that right now? Yeah. 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 See, it's so much. I, I absolutely love just hovering over the play button. Now, when Jade is here, I hover over the play button and just wait for her to say <laughs> something totally fascinating so I can end every link on My that. My favourite's the meatloaf one. Oh, I know. <laughs> I still remember the meatloaf one. Meatloaf clearly hasn't made it. You Google, you Google meatloaf his and name and it just comes up with meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is still that is that made it into the highlight reel. That is oh yeah, on the oh video. yeah, oh I yeah. I love that video. Oh my gosh, <sighs> I, I was struggling so much to come up with with. I, I minimize. I cited that when I first made that with all the highlights I wanted to include. It was nearly four hours long. <laughs> And I ended up cutting out bits and cutting out more bits. And basically, when I look back on it, it was, this four-hour video was practically just two hours of you. And <laughs> oh, great. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe next year I could convince you to do a 24-hour radio marathon. It's just like a joint thing. Oh. You've My current, I've yawned about four times in the last minute. I don't think I would be able to last. <laughs> is that duration hours. or listening to me? You know, no, cause... that is just me not going to bed early enough. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I don't even have an excuse. Play that track, Terry. <laughs> Singing in the Rain by Mint Roy Al. Before that, we had three lions on the shirt. And we had handbags and glad rags. <laughs> that is the official lyrics. That is the official lyric, yeah. It's uh, something to do with words and stuff. You're listening to Insanity Radio, 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow. And we've been joined for the past two hours by Jade Thornton. Hello. I was about to do a spin in my chair then, but then I remembered the headphones are connected. Oh, this, this, yeah, oh wow, yeah, you're gonna be like tied to the chair for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. 
Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm sure you'd want to eat at some point, and I'm sure you. Yeah, have I can hear my stomach rumbling. Oh, we're going to have another cover of Belly Grumble here live on Insanity Radio. Let's get the microphone down towards the belly. And no, it's not pretty. It's I can, I can remember last time. Uh, was it? I can't remember what it was now. When you just, it's like I can hear my own stomach it's rumbling. It's and, and it just goes... <laughs> It sounds like the soundtrack to like Blue Planet or something. <laughs> it's so bad. I will, I will have a full meal, like oh, lovely, fulfilling meal, and then it will still be like, <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Apparently, food. But oh you know. my god. <laughs> You're listening to Instagram Radio 103.2 <laughs> FM. I am White Shadow, and oh my gosh, I mean. Uh, Song Academy finalist. Yeah, boy. And you were there performing last week live mm-hmm. in front of some judges. Mm-hmm. Uh, were they there? Whose names? Who was there? Who were the judges? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it was just a showcase, they were, yeah. They were, they were hiding behind a screen, were they? I hope so. They were hiding, they were watching, they were watching. They were there in secret. They were there. Yeah. Maybe they were there in spirit. Maybe. 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 I got, it sounded so much like a Rocky Horror Picture Show right there. <sighs> in spirit, anyway. Maybe. It's, <laughs> right now, I sound like Dr. Evil from Austin <laughs> Powers. <laughs> right. <laughs> We'll call him uh, Mini Me. Uh, my dad watches those all the time. <laughs> From the moment I had Frau, say I had a clone. I knew that I'd be safe because <laughs> I'd never be alone. An evil doctor shouldn't speak a lot about his feelings. My hurt and my pain don't make me too appealing. I hope Scott would look up to me, run the business of the family. Had an evil empire just like his dear old dad. Gave him the love and the things I never had. Scott would think I was a cool guy. Return the love I have, make me want to cry, be evil. But have my feelings too. Change my life with Oprah and Maya Angelou. But Scott rejected me. Say la vie. Life is cruel, treat you unfairly. Even so, a god that must be mini me, you complete me. Father's Day, everybody. Rock and roll. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> oh, I bet you wish I had no words too. I never thought I'd hear the words Maya Angelou <coughs> and Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> In a rap. Oh, Austin Powers. From. Austin Powers. Austin Powers. <laughs> oh, what a combination! <laughs> this is actually going on YouTube later. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just going to slyly cut that bit out? Oh, no, it'll go in. I can't be slyly cutting bits out. It's no worse than half the karaoke covers I've done over the years, <laughs> is it? I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, I'm I have sure some you're... questionable covers on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. But look, it's, All uh, private now, but yeah. Again, if I sent you the rest of my karaoke jams, you'd be... Like, <laughs> Like, you'd be curled up on the floor dying of laughter. You'd like, literally, you'd have to wear a corset to stop your sides from splitting. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I don't. My I, I, oh my, I used to do a cappella covers before I learned how to play guitar. Oh, Woody's head's coming out of the keyring. Yeah, before I learned how to play the guitar, um, I used to just sit in my room and post covers. Uh, a cappella. Yeah, a lot of stuff oh. like... I did the cup song. Anybody remember the cup song? Yes! Oh my gosh! Got a cup to hand. There are, um, not, not, not on me. Uh, oh. I, I that got one. a bottle of Lucas Aid in the media suite. I got my ticket for the long way round. Two bottles of whiskey for the way. And that one, yeah. Oh, that's totally yeah, amazing. That's your word like some sweet company. And I'm leaving tomorrow, what you say. Yeah, I did that one. Some um, of the covers I've seen of that on YouTube are so I'm amazing. Gone. <laughs> when I'm gone. Yeah, that one. Um, you know, the classic, like, um, she will be loved. But, uh, yeah, I took them down because some girl was like, you're not that good and you're not that pretty. Uh, and I was like, I thought you were here for my singing. Put them back up there. And uh, next time she no. says that, send her to my no. karaoke they're, jams they're and let like, her do some comparisons. They're like three years old. They're, uh, they're bad. I, 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 I still. I don't mind uh, spending every day. And they're just there before I learned how to play guitar, and they were bad. Who needs I had a guitar a when you've got a cup? Cut. I wasn't that creative. I was copying uh, other people. I was copying Pitch Perfect. I could not make my own beats. What do you think every but, cover is? Once somebody put right, I can't be the only artist that doesn't like this. Right, mm. doesn't like listening to their own music. Yeah, right. It's like people don't listen, like like the sound of their own voice. 
People I, don't, if you play my voice back to me, I can. I just. I'm like, oh my god, who is that man? Oh wait, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then when people play back my songs, I'm like, just put your phones in, please. Like, enjoy it out of earshot. And I know people are like, oh, you're a musician. You've got to be used to it. And I'm like, no, it's it's different. People don't sit there and. You, anyway, um, we were in maths one day in like year eight or year nine and some kid in my class was like, oh, miss. Then we had like five minutes towards the end of the lesson. Miss, why don't you put one of Jade's covers on? <laughs> so after begging, strenuous begging, I was like, miss, please don't. Just, 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 just don't. Just, just please don't. I wasn't. I was like, just don't. Oh, you're going to put it on. Put it on in front of the whiteboard in front of the entire class. Needless to say, I wanted the ground to open up and swallow me whole. <laughs> Scarby for life, so I just took him down. I just couldn't be bothered with the faff. Oh, my God. <laughs> Moral of the less, the story is, people who say stuff to you that... If somebody says you're rubbish, but they have no significance in your life and you don't know them, then that, com that comment has no significance in your life. Yes, those... Yes. Those... You've got to put it through a filter. You've got to think, who are they? Do they matter to me? No, then therefore what they say doesn't matter to me. Those that mind don't matter, those and those that matter, matter, matter don't mind. All that mind don't matter, all that matter don't... That's a Justin Jay lyric. Yeah, I, I'd yeah. love to like, accidentally mix that up one day and just get it back to front. <laughs> <laughs> Easily done! Easily... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but we were talking about three lions being a 1998 theme tune anthem for the whole football thingy and and it's just a few years later was it next year or the year after that 99 or 2000 was vindaloo 99 what a great year i'm pretty sure it was 99 99 was the year i left school 99 was the year i was born oh dear. <laughs> 1999 I'd finished school I'd just turned 16 in August in 1999 and I was one of the I was born in August 1999 <laughs> 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 I was just entering the school of life you know? wow the school of life hard knocks yeah. high <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was more like Reception, <laughs> play school. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Once you get beyond this line, there's no turning back. <laughs> play that tune. <laughs> I can't believe you literally. You said you don't know this song. I probably know it when I hear it. I don't but, know. Okay, that's that's a fair. Okay, yeah. Cool. Let's do Let's this. Let's try it. Let's out. do this. Absolutely timeless. Classic. <laughs> I'm going to be by the Proclaimers. And before that, we were listening to Vendaloo uh, by Fat Les. And you're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow, and this is the legendary, also creative songwriter, singer, and just general genius, Jade Thornton. What? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, that voice. Sm what? Smooth. This is Bart Simpson in the house. Like a lot of people, are, I know this sounds really obnoxious, but people are a lot of like, oh, you really sound like you know, you know, when you hear Adele laugh and she's like, Rah! and you hear her talk, <laughs> and then she's got like people are like your singing voice and your talking voice is polar opposite. Just in case Adele is listening in right now, it was, um, it's, it's, it's just Jade's got a, a, a sore throat, Hi. don't hold it against her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I just realised something that's just what. Like, I oh wow, yeah. It's just just your your, your tan. You, you've you've got the red at the top. You've got the yellow a bit further down. Then you've got the green. You're literally Are you saying like, that I look like a traffic light, Terry. It's, <laughs> oh wow. Um, we are now ten minutes into the third hour of Where's the, the yellow. We are now. <laughs> We are now 10 minutes into the third no, hour. No, no, Terry, where's the yellow? <laughs> we are now 10 minutes into the... No! Where is the yellow? <laughs> We've got the 
the red. <laughs> Are you so much as the white, the unsunburned bit is yellow. <laughs> We are now 12 minutes into the third hour of the two-hour radio I'm outraged. Oh. I did not come here to I, be personally attacked, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> no, long joke, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yes. Um, so, yeah, we, we are still here, the yeah. 12, because there are just so many cracking tunes. Cracking tunes. And there's always so much to talk about when Jade is here. But I uh, must head off and get some lunch. But Jay much has to off and get some lunch because apparently people need to eat sometimes. Yeah. And I wasn't aware of this. No. No. I... My mum always says that. <laughs> She's like, all I do is buy food and then I come home and it's eaten. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, sorry, what did you want us to do with it? Stare at it. <laughs> I love you, mum. There is enough. Anybody else's mum do that, or is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Why I'm... do we have to eat all the time <laughs> to survive? So my granddad used to go to a market. I forget where it was. I think it was Campton Park Market. Oh, Every market. single Thursday, he used to yes. go there, and he used to come back with the most beautiful, shiny red apples and the mm. biggest bag of uh, American-style jam donuts you could mm. ever see. And me and my sister mm. used to eat them, and then my mum used to like throw a proper hissy fit because we ate the food that he brought round for us to eat, and it was just oh, they were fun times, older memories. They Did were she good want times. you to frame it or what? Huh? Did she want you to frame it instead? Or? Well, uh, <laughs> they were American style jam donuts and the biggest, shiniest, red, juiciest Don't apples that we could. We, we salivaring. Could, technically, they were salivating. Sal salivaring. We're, we're, we're going to end of the show now and start salivaring. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, well, so next week, one o'clock until three o'clock. I shall try my best to make it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. In the meanwhile, exit.live. Go online, exit.live. See if the app. <coughs> See if the app exists online. See if, see if you can find it in the App Store, the Google Store, and any other kind of store. Exit.live. Find it on the internet and just buy all Jade stuff because Jade is amazing. And yes, okay, uh, shall we end this link? Shall we? Yeah. Shall we say Toodle Pip? Oh, the next song's a tune. Yeah, stick around. <laughs> stick around to what? The next song. It's. <laughs> The next song. Stay tuned to Insanity Radio yeah. One Hundred Three Point Two FM. You're <laughs> <laughs> looking at me, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> Hello, hello, baby, you called, I can't hear a thing 